Welcome again to the Family Reunion. I'm Brea Hollingsworth. And I'm Giselle Thomas. We're here at the one and only Bragg Memorial Stadium where the Rattlers are taking on the North Carolina A&T Aggies. And this isn't just a game, but truly a reflection of a family reunion. That's right, Brea, alumni, students, and also the community have gathered to watch the game and also hear the one and only Marching 100. Real Let's see how the Rattlers have prepared for the play. game today. Over 26,000 fans packed Bragg Memorial Stadium for Florida A&M University's annual homecoming and NEAC rivalry matchup against North Carolina A&T. North Carolina A&T entered the game an unblemished 6-0, and while the Rattlers show glimpses of how good it could be, the Aggies' powerhouse offense led them to another victory, defeating FAMU 31-20. FAMU head coach Alex Wood threw support behind his football team as they battled back from a 28-7 first-half deficit, but did mention that mistakes by his team are the ultimate reason why the unit fell to 2-4 on the year. Uh, we just made too many mistakes uh, in crucial situations to, uh, to win the game today. It's probably the way our kids fought and played hard. Um, but just too many mistakes, uh, again, to, to win uh, a game like we did today. Junior running back Devin Bowers led the FAMU offense on the ground with his seventh straight 100-yard rushing performance. While I'll, take, I'll take the blame for the, for the loss today because that's a uh, awesome carry. That's a big mistake on me. That's my number one job. And past few weeks I've been turning it over so there's no other choice but you know to improve on my ball security because ball security is job security. On the defensive side of the ball the Rattlers held a t to just three points in the second half. FAMU also took two interceptions from the Aggies and recorded two tackles behind the line of scrimmage in the loss. The Florida A&M University Rattlers were able to enjoy many things during this homecoming week but unfortunately a win was not one of them. After the Rattlers fell behind 28-7 after the first half, they attempted to amount a comeback, but ultimately fell to the North Carolina A&T Aggies 30-21. The Rattlers will now travel to Hampton University to face MEAC rival. This is Stanley Danzi reporting for the 2017 Homecoming Special. It's a family reunion. Rattlers from different generations return another year for homecoming tailgate parties. We have a great time every single year. The tailgate's nothing but love. From the president's pregame tailgate to the postgame tailgate, there was nothing but Rattler love. Obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of great things going on at FAMU. Here's another one. Alumni not only return to celebrate homecoming, but they return to give back to the students. At the Young Alumni Giving Brunch, several students were honored with scholarships from various alumni. Aside from the scholarship presentation, alumni also showed off their skills, some live drawing artwork while everyone enjoyed the music and food. For more homecoming coverage, visit thefamuonline.com and click on the TV20 tab. But homecoming isn't over just yet. <laughs> Homecoming isn't complete without the annual gospel concert. A packed crowd at Lee Hall Auditorium sang along to traditional hymns and new school gospel. Rattlers of all ages came out to clap along to the FAMU Gospel Choir as they praised their way through homecoming. It feels good to be a the baby Rattlers made an appearance at FAMU's annual homecoming parade. One parent expresses her future plans for her daughter to be a future Rattler. It's still a family vibe. I love it. She's going to love it. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. I haven't been out here long, but I've met up with some people that's been coming into town. I can tell it's going to be a good homecoming weekend. With the dedicated ROTC of FAMU High, their bands, and the talented dancers, and many more, Florida's A&M future graduates will be something the world should definitely look out for. Four boys, ages four, five, and a set of twins that's 22 months old. 
At a young age, these baby rattlers could be found along with their parents already making moves to secure their future in Florida A&M. Well, Bria, I think Femi's future is so bright. It's definitely bright, Giselle. Well, that's going to do it for us. We hope you enjoyed the 20th anniversary of the homecoming special. We are Femi. Yes,